Hello there everybody, my name is Toby from the Artorvian channel and welcome to episode 18 of the Afterlife SMP and uh, I've just been doing a bit of meat carving, don't mind me. Uh, ignore the thing on my belt. <laughs> um, this, is, this isn't a Halloween costume. Uh, no, in all seriousness, we are in the Halloween district. This was a place organised by Wintertooth100, and we've got so many things going on. We've got um, a, th a thing over here by uh, Kyle Blaine. Uh, it's actually a way of entering a sweepstake. Now, I've actually already entered myself in. Uh, you have a chance of winning some rewards if you enter in a diamond block. Uh, as well as that, we have a brand new game uh, called The Build Imposter by Mario. Uh, I don't, I can't afford it yet, uh, so I'll just put an IOU in there for uh, for the time being. Uh, I have asked him if I can do that, and he said it's absolutely fine. Um, also, the, there's a pumpkin patch mini game by Winterteeth. Currently, it's not stocked, but I am sh I'll be sure to spend some time over there in the near future. And I think that's spoilers. <laughs> yeah, there are there's loads of stuff going on. Uh, and this, my contribution here, is the Baba Yaga house. And I'm going to do a bit of work on this later, uh, but first and foremost, I'm going to be doing some work at the circus. I've got an idea for a carousel minigame, which I'll go into more detail later, but let's firstly get into time lapse, and during that time lapse, I'll just talk briefly about a few things that I'd like to bring up. First and foremost, where have I been? Well, basically I've just been really busy with school and things like that. I've also been a bit obsessed with Among Us, admittedly, as well as a few other things. So I'm sorry that I haven't been able to upload as frequently, and I have had a break that's been a few weeks long. But uh, I do have some important school things going on and things like that, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm unfortunately not able to upload as frequently right at this moment. Secondly, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. We are almost, well, we're over halfway to a thousand subscribers now, which is insane. Thank you so much. It, it's actually amazing to think how quickly we've grown. I mean, how long ago was it that we were a hundred? Probably like six or seven months. So that's really great. Thank you so much. And yeah, I really appreciate it. And uh, finally, we have a brand new member on the Afterlife server called Tinkfro. Uh, and if you'd like to check out all of the other members, their links will be in the description below. As well as that, you can find links to the Afterlife Discord and my Discord server, which I highly recommend you join. We recently, well, we've had 50 members for quite a while. And uh, I'd love to get uh, to 100 at some point this or next year. And also there's a link to the Afterlife Hub channel where the uh, the application videos will be held. So yeah, if you'd like to become a member, then feel free to check those out. Anyway, let's take a look at this carousel. And over the horizon, we see this beautiful llama head. <laughs> and I must admit, uh, I did actually forget to include that in the time lapse. I forgot to, I forgot to unpause and pause recording. Uh, but here's the carousel, and it looks so great, especially all these bugged out llamas here that you literally cannot get near to sort out. Honestly, I'm probably going to have to kill one or two, or at least break their minecarts to get it going again. But for some reason, they really like bunching together on lo along this outer circle, and I have no idea why. Uh, but anyway, the gist of this is, you pick any llama you like. Uh, can I ride? Oh, I can still ride them. Uh, but anyway, you pick any llama you like, and it has a 1 in 16 chance of having a token in it. And with those tokens, you can of course redeem rewards at the circus. The tokens are essentially the, the currency of the circus. I'm not sure what we're going to pick the tokens out of. I was thinking something like honeycomb or beetroot seeds, but since this is a bee circus, honeycomb probably is the best idea. But uh, we'll see what the other people think. But basically, that's the plan for that. And there's a lot of other things going on uh, on, on at the circus. I suggest watching KB's perspective uh, to find out uh, what all of these things are. 
but um, I think Justin L has been doing a lot of work too. And then Kaf has also did work on the maze, and I think Puff helps uh, helps KB and Justin on the Wacker Stand game. But I think Justin and KB have mainly been the people behind the circus at the moment. I must admit, I have been slacking a bit. But anyway, before we head back to the Halloween district, there's one more thing I'd like to check up on. And that is the skin shop. So, uh, I haven't had any requests placed in there, but I've had three requests from people. Two of them were from Mr. All Out J, and one of them was from Mr. Mario. Now, I don't think I, uh, I'm not sure if they want it spoilt just yet, so I won't tell you what they want. Uh, but I'll show you once I've completed them and they have, uh, agreed to let me showcase them. But uh, also, Mario gave me his head to put on one of the stands, which means uh, he gets five diamonds off his order. Uh, and, I'm, and if Jay wants to do that too, he is more than welcome. Uh, basically, the first five people to submit their heads gets five uh, diamonds off their order. If they submit two heads, that does not stack up. They still only get five diamonds off. But anyway, uh, now that now we've looked at that, the last thing I want to do is check up on the Halloween Town because believe it or not, it's actually been a few days since I last recorded. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. Uh, so yeah, let me just make my way to the Halloween District. But one thing I want to show you first is this amazing Nether Tunnel. Now this was the first thing I believe that was built, and this was built by Winter, and it it is actually quite dangerous if you want to fly through it. Um, once you've got the hang of it, it gets a bit easier, but it's still it's still difficult to fly through, uh, which is why it's best to best to use a boat. But um, yeah, it's an awesome looking nether tunnel. It's almost like an illusion in places because if you notice, this side opens, closes, uh, and the, the other side does the opposite. So while this one's open, this one's closed. Uh, it's just a pattern basically, and it does make it look a bit a bit trippy sometimes, and with with the pumpkins and the chains that adds to it. But yeah, it's an awesome nether tunnel. It it's perfect to be honest. It's he did such a great job of it. The blackstone works so well uh, with the orange, and yeah, he did a great job with this. Uh, but two two things, uh, well three things I'd like to look at really. First and foremost, um. There is this around the base. Now this is not complete. It's not complete. Um, I do want to spread it out, preferably to the graveyard entrance, uh, just to make it look a bit more immersive. But this is basically like a rocky, uh, undead area. There are going to be trees and things, but this is just the rough design. And over here, uh, these dispensers, you basically pick... Uh, pick someone, pick trick or treat, and then you pick one of the afterlife members, and it's randomly assigned. And I've also given them names, so like, Runic Frighten, Scare Mario, those are my favourite ones. I did, a, a few of them are a bit lacklustre, <laughs> but um, those are my favourite ones. And yeah, uh, it is completely random, I put the names in here randomly, so unfortunately, Flim, <laughs> unfortunately Flim, you're, you're probably going to be one of the last to be picked. Um, <laughs> one of the last nine to be picked. Uh, or maybe that's fortunate because someone could end up picking Trick or Treat. So I don't expect everyone to be chosen if not everyone participates. But uh, basically, you pay a diamond block, and the best two, the best two uh, pranks and treats, uh, so the best prank and the best treat, they get a reward. Now, I'm not sure what the reward will be yet. All I know is that they'll get a reward. Uh, but hopefully we can make some diamonds from it. And the other thing I wanted to look at was... Um, okay, that game's not been stocked up yet. That's one thing. And the other thing was the build imposter. So, if, if we climb up here... I said I'd put an IOU in here. But Justin, um, he very, very kindly, very kindly... Uh, 
donated two diamond blocks to me. So I I'm going to have to find a way to make it up for him because, I mean, he's he's essentially given me two diamond blocks and I've essentially spent it on that mini game. So I'm going to need some ideas on how to, how, how to give Justin a treat, how to pay it forward. Uh, or, may or maybe alternatively I should uh, treat another member in his name. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please, as usual, leave any suggestions down below. As I said earlier, there are loads of links you can be treating yourself to down below. Uh, so please, please, please check them out. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>